my suspicions and my reason being in the game so long, not surprised by any shenanigans that might happen, alleged, true, or in between. Maybe, maybe not. But I questioned the week before, show me a sparring tape, show me something that created this episode, this particular conversation that we have. Because I'm getting asked questions from fighters from different parts of the East Coast, traveled the West Coast recently before I got here. And the first thing people ask me, you know, what do you think happened week before and blah, blah, blah. I said, listen, do it falls on a smell test. Uh, but I don't want to be the first one, which I believe I was, to speak candidly about it straight up because I would like to give fans who I think is very intelligent. But also, there's some potential hope winks or already got a hope wink, slow learners out there. So I'm educating them in the same token, letting them know that everything don't have to be what's fed to you, what it is. Something to think about, and if something come out of that conversation where now you're getting information more than whatever band-aid or bandage, whatever show, whatever, then you make your decisions and then you follow it from there. But I'm, I'm a person about, we gotta go further if it means that much to anybody in any situation. If you tell me something, now you gotta show me. I think the fans in the world deserve, not because of missing basically almost 90% of boxing last year, correct? Yeah. And now you, you got your, can you imagine, I heard this happen to you allegedly. The date didn't show up because you was ready and you was all dressed up. I heard had a nice haircut, smiling. And next thing you know, you got stood up. This is a stood up in boxing. And a stood up in boxing, if it's true, if it's not true, is, is something that I think that what makes our fans have a hot and cold relationship with us. A hot and cold relationship with us. I want them to be hot all the time. I want it all. I want it all when it comes to the promoter side, when it comes to boxing side. I want it all. I want it always to be on uh, hot Bernard, thermostat. Bernard, so you're telling me that you would like to see evidence, maybe like an x ray or, or MRI, something that. Well, I, know, think fans, I, think, you, I think the fans. I think. Listen, I think the fans. I think the fans. I think I already said it, but mm -hmm. I, I'll say it again, even though. I, I feel like I'm repeating myself from yesterday. I think I was really clear on telling the world why this fight didn't happen. I think the credibility comes in when you show. Exhibit one. See, I'm a showing person. I'm not, a, like, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what happened and, and you gotta take my word for it. Not that I'm, not that I'm saying you shouldn't. But if I show you, I don't have to do too much speaking. So we can shut everybody up that think the same way or label it as a theory. Then there's a doctor who had to diagnose that situation, correct? Well, that doctor exists, correct? Well, let the doctor reveal himself. And then we'll do this again one day. Let me backtrack. I believe doctor. <laughs> we all should. We all should, especially what's going on right now. But Bernard, you know, let me rewind. Obviously, you've been in many fights. You've been in camps many times. That turn is right now. Did he probably felt it weeks before? Or did he just? What do you think? Like he could. If, if you felt, obviously he couldn't. I mean, what? it, it would have been really tough for him to go into a fight knowing about that. Could he still probably made it to the fight? Could he probably? My question for you, I guess. I know what your question is. Your question is is hypothetical because you're saying when you have that type of injury, it's painful as this and that. But I go back to before. Did you see the sparring session? The leak? Did you see the sparring session? Mm -hmm. 
Did you see his eye? I need to go back and check it. <laughs> no, you seen his sparring session, but you didn't see the eye, but you need to go back and check it. Either you seen that and you seen the other, or you just seen a clippings of a sparring session that maybe don't attach to the incident, allegedly, if it happened or not. I want to talk to the doctor. See, in sports, not just boxing, we, then, we in the Jerry Jones neighborhood. <laughs> if a player gets hurt, then you just set up a slow ball and a fast game. And I got a grand slam it. Yeah, I got, a, I got every base loaded, first, second, and third. And you telling me you seen A, but hypothetical if this happened, wouldn't it be kind of hard? How you go, how am I gonna even speak on that? Because before we get to either side, you have to look at, here it is, I'm gonna show the world of boxing, the fans, that I ain't just letting Pacquiao sit on the shelf again at 40 something years old, and then gotta start the motor back up, say three, four, five months up. That's like a year for an Asian fighter. <laughs> so, so there's a lot of this, there's a lot of chess, but most people are thinking checkers. I play chess. A lot of fans were honestly looking forward for Pacquiao and Spence. Absolutely. So now we have Ugas Spence, I mean, Ugas versus Pacquiao, Pacquiao versus Ugas. Is that still an explosive fight? Break that down for us. I'd rather have Spence and Pacquiao than anybody else. Second or third or fourth. I'm not gonna say he the guy ain't no fighter or he don't have no experience or he ain't capable. Every 20 something years you see an upset. When the last time we seen a major, major upset, it was Mike Tyson to my knowledge. Yeah, people got beat in between that, but no, the, the historic one was that. I don't feel that like in this one. I think Pacquiao is going to show his veteranness on how he adjusts mentally. Pacquiao is more in danger than his opponent because he's a new opponent. Not new fighter, but a new mindset. See, see, some fighters can go in there and want to kill another fighter, but he got, he got a different opponent, he just want to hurt him. That's the difference between kill and hurt. In my opinion, I, me, but obviously I'm not a fighter because I haven't been in the ring. I thought U Ugas was going to have it harder because obviously Pacquiao's experience, the quickest fighter out there, had different angles, has power both of his hands. But now you're telling me, obviously you have a lot of knowledge in the ring. Why does that Pacquiao be more, has to be more on his toes this time around? Because he's Pacquiao. It's been, who haven't he seen? What style he haven't faced? What challenge, what emotions, high, low, in the middle. Pacquiao's seen everything that I've seen and probably even more. So <laughs> Pacquiao has the burden now of not falling to the level of his opponent. He has the level, let me say it again. You know, I speak a little fast, you know, it's, it's the New York quickness, but I, I'm in Philly though. People think New York sometimes because they don't, they, don't, <laughs> no, they don't know I'm from Philly. I completely understand But let me, let me go back again. <laughs> See, Pacquiao has the higher burden. Anybody else, if it's not Spence on that level of Sp Earl Spence, to be talking a different conversation. So all eyes on Pacquiao, how he reacts to this whole new change. Being a veteran, you know what to do. He's not going to fight the same way he planned, plan, prepared to fight Earl Spence. Because it's not Earl Spence. Uh, Bernard, I was so ready to see that fight pack up with Spence. I guess we're going to have to wait now. No, you had to write everything. Well, this is recorded. You had to, to, to show uh, people both sides and then let um, the winners of the fight stand out and get their uh, accolades. 
So I wanted to say it just as bad as you wanted to say it. The fans that's watching this disagree or agree with me or whatever they think. Um, one thing we do have an agreement on, I believe, we all wanted to see this fight. And that's what, it all, what, what it's all about, my opinion.